Gentleman of Style, Steppers Sharp, Confessions of a Cameraman 2003, by Dan Land Pro. It was a crisp autumn evening in Chicago, and the city lights flickered like the stars in the velvet sky. Dan Land Pro had just finished setting up his camera inside an old dance studio, the one where legends of Steppen were made. Tonight was different, though. He wasn't there to capture a routine or an event. He was there to explore something deeper, the essence of a gentleman's style in Steppen and the history behind it. Steppen isn't just a dance, Dan thought to himself as he looked through the lens. It's a lifestyle. And for the men, it's all about how you carry yourself. As the door creaked open, Mr. Earl entered the room. He was in his late 60s, but his tailored suit, polished shoes, and fedora made him look timeless. He had been Steppen since the 70s and was known not only for his smooth moves, but also for his impeccable style. Ready, young man? Mr. Earl asked, adjusting his cufflinks. Dan nodded, pressing the record button. There's a reason why you see brothers dressed like this on the dance floor, Mr. Earl began. His voice had the kind of richness that demanded respect. Back in the day, Steppen was about more than just how well you danced. It was about who you were, a reflection of your character, your pride, and most importantly, your respect for the ladies. Dan zoomed in on the intricate details of Mr. Earl's suit, a custom double-breasted jacket, a silk pocket square peeking out from the chest, and a tie knotted perfectly at the neck. See, in the 70s, Steppen was evolving from bopping, which was more loose and casual. But when Steppen took over, it brought with it this idea of finesse, of grace. If you were going to step, you had to look the part. No sagging pants, no sneakers. That wasn't how you showed respect to the culture or the women you danced with. Dan was mesmerized. He had always admired the dancer's elegance, but hearing the story from a veteran like Mr. Earl gave it new meaning. So where did it come from? Dan asked, stepping out from behind the camera for a moment. Mr. Earl paused, leaning against a chair as if preparing to deliver a history lesson. The roots of this style go back even further, to the early days of jazz clubs and speakeasies during the Harlem Renaissance. Men wore suits and hats as a sign of dignity. They didn't have much, but they made sure they looked sharp. It was about survival, about standing tall when the world was trying to keep you down. It wasn't just about fashion. It was about identity. As he spoke, Dan could almost see the smoky jazz clubs, hear the shuffle of leather soles across hardwood floors, and feel the energy of a time long past. By the time Steppen came around, that tradition hadn't died. In fact, it got stronger. Now, don't get me wrong, Steppen is all about the ladies. You gotta make her look good. But the style, son, that's all about you. It's about being a gentleman. You dress sharp because you respect yourself, and that respect flows to her. Mr. Earl stood up, adjusting his tie again. And that's why you'll never catch a real stepper looking sloppy. The shoes gotta be shined, the suit fitted. The ladies wanna feel like they're dancing with a king. And kings don't step out looking like common folk. Dan nodded, absorbing the wisdom. So what happens if the style fades? Dan asked. Mr. Earl chuckled. It won't. Style ain't a trend. It's timeless. Young cats like you might put your own twist on it. But you'll never let it go. You see, when you step into this culture, you inherit something. You carry a piece of history with you. It's your job to honor it, to respect it. And that means keeping the gentleman's code alive. Dan smiled, the weight of those words sinking in. He realized that the elegance of Steppen was about much more than looking good on the dance floor. It was a reflection of resilience, dignity, and the spirit of a community that had passed down its values from generation to generation. As Dan packed up his camera, Mr. Earl tipped his hat and turned toward the door. Keep filming, son. 
Keep telling these stories, but remember, it's not just about what you see, it's about what you feel. With that, Mr. Earl disappeared into the night, his polished shoes tapping lightly on the pavement, leaving behind an echo of wisdom that Dan knew would stay with him forever. The next day, Dan found himself walking through Chicago's South Side, looking for another interview. He was on his way to meet Big Tony, a younger stepper who was known for blending modern fashion with the classic style of a gentleman. Dan was curious how the next generation would interpret Mr. Earl's lessons. When Dan arrived, Tony was waiting outside a barber shop. He was sporting a sleek bomber jacket and designer loafers, but still wore a fedora, a nod to the old school. Yo, Dan, Tony called, walking toward him. You here to talk style, huh? Let me tell you something. This gentleman's game, it's evolving, but it's always got to be clean. They sat down inside the shop and Tony started explaining his approach. Look, I grew up watching the OGs like Mr. Earl, but we ain't trying to dress like we in the 70s, right? It's about updating it, keeping it fly for today. But the respect, the polish, that's the same. He pointed at his perfectly manicured hands. The shoes, the cut, even the way you carry your shoulders, it's all about precision. I might wear a leather jacket now, but I still follow the code. A gentleman don't slack, ever. That's something I learned from my pops and his friends. Whether you're stepping into a club or stepping out for a date, it's all about looking your best. Dan noted the juxtaposition between Tony's modern take on fashion and the timeless wisdom from Mr. Earl. It was as if they were both playing different notes, but the melody was the same. Pride, respect, and elegance in every move. But you know what really makes the style? Tony continued, leaning forward. It's not just the clothes, man. It's how you treat people. That's the real gentleman's code. You make the lady look good, you hold yourself with pride, and you never, ever let the world see you sweat. Dan smiled. In Tony, he saw the future of Steppen, a future where the traditions of the past merged with the innovations of the present, all while keeping the essence of a gentleman alive. As Dan packed up his gear again, he realized that style wasn't just about fashion. It was about carrying a legacy. One polished shoe, sharp suit, and confident stride at a time. It was a way to express pride, not just in how you looked, but in how you lived. The gentleman's style, he now understood, was more than an aesthetic. It was a code, a commitment to respecting oneself, the dance, and the community. And as long as men like Mr. Earl and Tony existed, the gentleman's style would remain timeless, carried forward like the rhythm of Steppen itself, one smooth step at a time.